we usually just kind of use polypaint um, to sketch out the webbing's layout. Because um, the most important things on him, on these kind of characters, are two things. One is the panels. The other one is the webbing's. And the webbing sometimes can be tricky because you have to find the right balance and the density, all that. Because, and a, a lot of time, uh, this is kind of interesting question problem we have to to answer as well, address as well is that uh, the density of the body, uh, the webbing is on the body. When it flows into something like a head, you kind of have to gradually reduce it. So you have to know where to do it. And there's actually kind of like a right way to do it, to do this kind of thing. But uh, um, I'm just going to quickly show, um, so if I have webbings like this, um, usually I have um, my, I created, I created a simple uh, insert mesh brush to just do tracing for something like this because um, the reason why I don't use the, uh, what was it called? The, uh, I think it was called tube snap. the the curve snap uh, strap snap. Yeah, it's because using this tool, I have my own poly group already, uh, kind of embedded in in the uh, in the brush. So when I draw the polygon out, let's say just like that, like that. Um, Oops. I can just basically, oops. Oh, it's not letting me. Okay. Um, I can just basically quickly get the um, topology out, the, the strip out, and start working with it. Splits. So yeah, um, just like that, because they all already have polygroup on it. Um, this way I can select the parts I want and delete the parts that I don't want to, I, I, I don't need. Um, so basically just kind of do this, and because it's being inverted, all this is just to get a simple strips that I can work with because I think uh, working on the piping or the webbings, it's easier when it's just simple strips that I can use the Z modeler tools to do um, modifications. So I don't have to work with like a cube because there's too many points. Um, so when you get to this point, it's just simple snappings and. Uh, um, Stitching and extruding. Um, of course, I can make it prettier, but uh, since this is, this is a demonstration, I'm not gonna go too much into making it pretty. Just to get the idea across for you guys. Um, so once it's done, I just use Q mesh to to extrude it. Oops. Um, I think I should, uh, let's polygroup it again. It's easier this way. So yeah, um, you know, at this stage you can just subdivide it if you want to, but uh, usually I would, uh, I'll just make sure the horizontal and the vertical is separate first, hidden separately first, and then this is all because I just want to get a cleaner subdivision. Um, just basically crease, oh, sorry, I'll do a poly group um, by normal, and I think 60 degrees kind of works best for this kind of thing. So yeah, once it's like this, let's see. Um, I'll just crease the, uh, crease my polygroup and just divide it. 
oh, this, this part is not worth clean, but uh, you know, you can always fix that later. Um, but when I subdivide it a little bit into subdivision three, I just usually just take out the, the crease again because I kind of want that softer look on the edges. Um, so if you kind of look at it, there's kind of a quick piping for you um, to start working on for, for, for the detail mesh. Um, so yeah, that's kind of the, the, the process that we do um, in ZBrush if it comes to getting the information out of polypaint and kind of just qu quickly use ZModeler or uh, custom brushes to, to build out these, these, all these piping areas. Uh, the other thing we kind of use uh, ZBrush for a lot is uh, for, because uh, on Spider-Man we have different body, so, sort of different body types on Spider-Man, even though we can't really deviate too, too much from the, the, the um, base proportion. But we try to vary, in, vary, vary them a little bit, so they're interesting enough, you know, they're not always the same suit. Um, that's kind of important for us. Um, so, <coughs> Uh, if you look at the 2099 suits, um, they're kind of the same built, but they look a little different. And I think uh, the, 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 the reason why is because we uh, basically just pick different visual landmarks and we sort of bring them out a little bit. So they look different, but not being really that much different. Like something like the wrist, you know, you can see that it's a lot, a lot more has a lot more powerful uh, bent to it. Um, and also, the, uh, when you look at the thigh area, it has a little bit more defined, uh, defined shape than uh, the Spider-Man, uh, the, the advanced suit. So this is kind of one way to sort of bring variations into what it, uh, what, what's kind of restricted. But uh, there's also one, I think one interesting suit is the, uh, the velocity suit. Um, this is an early visualization that I did for Velocity. It's a sketch, but um, it's a sketch of the suit without all the elements on top. And I think for me, it's important to figure out the form before I commit to anything. And I know some people will like to develop a part first and then you know, try to focus on some one area, but I think that's really not a very good way to do things because you, you lose uh, the overall pictures of the, the design. And velocity is interesting that he has a lot of like shapes built into uh, his body, and I think that it's important to capture the form first, and then you go into the detail uh, later. Um, so ZBrush is really good for, even though it's a mechanical suit, kind of um, ZBrush is really good for, uh, to to help me um, quickly figure out, you know. This is like the anchor point that I start from because I actually use this and just basically build off all the other details uh, from this uh, sketch. It's a rather finished sketch, to be honest, but um, this is the final version. Um, yeah, I think you can, whatever you lay on top of it is basically just, you know, basing off um, the basic form that's already defined there. So. Once you kind of get that form right, it, you know, uh, things can just kind of lay on top and just, you know, they, they just hang on top of it. Um, so that's uh, kind of just uh, a variations on uh, how Spider-Man, you know, the process we have for dif doing different Spider-Man um, suits. Um, this, this, the, 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 the detail mesh for uh, Velocity was actually done in Maya, so it's not a ZBrush model, but still ZBrush was a big part of it, um, the development.